Yeah, I remember this guy. We're yard selling, folks. We're yard selling. We seen something from across the street. We we if you if you if you know me, I was like, pull over, dude. It'll be outside. I know. Yeah. It's gonna be a little hot this afternoon, but you should be good. Revere, heck yeah. Oh, this is old school too. This vintage. Yeah. Good condition, leather. You mess with golf clubs? Mm, not really. Oh, Sometimes. look at that. Got a purple and poly face right here. She does not take Zell. Oh shit, sorry, what's going on? Man? <laughs> Let me get the legends up in here. <laughs> we got Paco working. Art always oh, makes Paco work. work. Oh, you, you break. You already paid for it. You already bought it. You already bought it. Facebook, <laughs> but my mom that can't be like keeping it. Oh, that's whatever. You know what I mean? But I got this one for $25 oh, with two that's, chairs. That's metal? Uh, it's, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's metal. I'm just going to paint it. You know what I mean? Yeah. With an umbrella. Yeah, with an umbrella. So I'm just going to paint it black and then post it up for like 300 bucks. That'll sell. Look and I'll make all my money back. Damn. Bro, and look at this. Chair, look at this dude. cast iron lantern right here. I got that for two bucks. Yeah. What? That's something I would have looked for. What she got in here? I really do enjoy running into friends and then running into Omar, hanging out with Caesar, <laughs> then running into Art, then Art making me help him carry stuff. I didn't even charge them. I should have. You should have. I should have charged them. You should have charged. Yeah, I should have charged them. And then Paco as well. Paco's awesome. That box was like at least two hundred pounds. I'm just like. <laughs> that box was pretty heavy that I carried. You were like. Ugh. I was like, oh my sciatica! Don't, don't, don't show my weakness in front of my friends. I must be Hulk. I must be Hulk. He's like, no, oh, oh, pinch, no Hulk. Hey, hi, Tim. <laughs> you happy? You happy? Somebody's home. I went to the yard sales, community yard sales. All right, I got an offer. Let's go check it out. Got some sapatos that sold. These are gonna be the hokas that I showed you not too long ago. These just sold for $50 plus shipping, $61 total. And they messaged saying expedite shipping. Uh, I don't know how I feel about messages like that, but it's gonna be pretty expedited. Let me know how long it takes for you to ship items, what your time frame is of when you pack them and actually ship them. It is Saturday today, 1141. I still have whatnot orders that complete packing up and gonna drop this all together. So for me, an expedited package, these shoes and the rest of the whatnot orders should be shipped out. I'm gonna say hopefully be done in about an hour and a half. Sometimes it takes a little longer because squirrel. And then other times squirrel, <laughs> I get so distracted. Remember the micro machines I showed you I had and I bought 98 plus of them for $7.99. One of them sold on whatnot and this one sold for $7 plus shipping. That's almost into what I paid for this stuff. Yesterday's whatnot auction went by way faster than what I expected. I don't feel like I moved much things, although I did. And Carla's calling me, so I'll be right back. Come on. Like she's trying to find the guy. <laughs> He's not. He left already, boy. Hey, what are you doing in there? Down. Good boy. He left already. You get too crazy around people. We had to let him go. We just had a AC guy come over and uh, we, <laughs> mad AC units are expensive. Carla was saying uh, she needs to get another job. Hail to the no, she's not gonna do that. I won't let that happen. So now I gotta kick it into even more gear. I got one more order to pack up and then gonna go drop this off before closing time and start figuring some things out. We could do this, folks. We could do this. Got no other choice. <laughs> Let's go. What is this new drink right here? Coming in hot, spicy dragon fruit. What? What's it got? Cinnamon in it? <laughs> what? 
<laughs> oh man, that means I'm not getting me a drink. After yard sailing this morning, I only have like $14. The Venti Ice Shaken Oat Milk Espresso with Stream Creep Foam for Carla. Whew. I think I got that right. Um, it's $8 and change, so I don't have enough for me. <sighs> now let's just make a coffee at the house. I feel you, Tip. I feel the same way. <laughs> I feel the same way, dude. What are you doing? What are you doing, weirdo? Come here. You okay? It's nice and cool on the floor, huh? It's starting to get warm here in Vegas. Want some paw rubs? Want some ear rubs? I know you like those ear rubs. Oh, yeah. That's where you start grunting. Eh. Eh. Yep. Yep, I wish somebody would rub my ear like this. And he's in shock. <laughs> it is 3.02. Now that the auction's over, the things that didn't sell, I'm going to end up transferring them into the next show. And as that happens, I'm going to continue to add things. So that way I'm not basing all of these whatnot auction shows one at a time. It makes it a lot easier I thought I sold 27 items. It was actually 73 items. 27 items to make 300 would be amazing. Still amazing. Who does that, right? Hour and a half. 73 items, still just as good. That means things were moving out. People were interested in it. And the rest of the stuff that was there, especially the similar micro machine vintage stuff, I could transfer it over. I would not be starting those at a dollar. Those would probably be more around $4. Um, and some things will be, I'll, I'll keep it at a dollar. I like to keep some things fun. But man, I was in a rush to pack up these orders. And then the AC guy came in. And then we started getting these, these quotes of 6,000, 9,000, 21,000, 21,000. <laughs> My eyes finally opened up on that one, which they're usually pretty like, eh. And then while all of that, I had to run to the post office, got to drop that off. I do like that the post office has now a rapid scanner. It's pretty easy to use. Next time I'll have a video, but I was in a rush to go and come home. I picked up Carla some coffee from Starbucks along the way. I wasn't able to buy me one and that's okay because I'm going to start really pinching money on what I spend, like going out and eat, which was I was doing anyways, but even more so now with the quotes that we got from for AC units, that's what happens, right? Freaking AC units go out. Now, while all of that was going on, me packing up things, moving stuff around, making a ruckus, the AC guy, Carla was over here. She went to the gym, came home, washed up, and then started working on a type of stew. I forget the name of this, so when she comes down, I will ask her, she will be headed off to work today, and it'll be me and Tip, we're going to get back to listing more, Tip. Auction's over. More will come. But we got... we Yeah. <laughs> oh, you want to look at this, huh? Oh, to smell the food on it? Sorry, boy. I, was, I wasn't trying to tease you on that. So now, I am back to getting on the ball with listing stuff. I am going to make another auction for tomorrow and whatnot. I am going to be having auctions on knickknacks as well and be listing stuff on there. And for sure, be getting back to listen even more on eBay. But this is definitely going to help these little items like this. These little toddler shoes, they could go for really big money. The most that I've sold toddler shoes for was $65 about two years ago. But ever since then, I've sold them for around $20, $15, $30. And this looks to be around the same. These little toddler 5C shoes. Nike Air Jordan, these are going to be, uh, I got them listed on eBay for $28.99. Let's get these bobbleheads up whoa, whoa, whoa. for tomorrow. There's one we'll get, and then the other one we'll snag too. This one's going to be brand new out the box. I don't know what I did with the box, but I remember pulling it out. Any Dodgers fans, check me out on whatnot because this is going to be on here tomorrow. And whatever doesn't sell, I'm going to keep cloning over into the next auction and just keep making it work. On top of that, I am going to pull some glass. I love glass. I also love things like this. So it's kind of crazy at times that a lot of people are only particular to one type of genre. 
Again, my genre is to make a cha-ching, but at the same time, I really love learning about things, stories about people, things that I don't know. It keeps it very interesting, and it keeps my brain functioning in a way that it didn't before when I just sat around and was a couch potato. That's when I had a horrible time of feeling like living wasn't worth living, and then when I got into therapy and started going full-time and reselling, I felt a huge relief of pressure mentally and off my shoulders to just move around and keep my brain occupied with something that benefits me daily. And that there was the big difference of what I wasn't doing before was staying active. Stay active as much as possible, have fun, and see what you got laying around that you can make some money off that's sitting around in your house that you're not even loving anymore. You know the value of most of the things. So make some money if you're ready to let go of it. Wedge back up in here. We do have some vintage glass. I do like the simplicity of this one. This, I don't know the maker of, and I don't know if it glows. No cracks, no chip. It is hand blown and oh, preventing chips from dropping it. Little bubbles in there. And this one I got around the same time as this one. So this one's gonna be a Fastoria. This one is etched on the bottom, which is why I know the maker of it. Nice little glass piece, looks like a wave. Great little trinket bowls, little dishes for all sorts of things. Jewelry, candy, Murano, little glass candies, like you name it, you could put some stuff in there. We got a little Ellie Smith, I believe this is Ellie Smith. Daisy and Buttons, uh, Cranberry Fairy Glass, Fairy Lamp, excuse me. Uh, that little guy, come on. We got the other bobbleheads in here. You're coming along with us as well. Whoa, whoa. I think the head comes off on this one, which is why I'm being extra careful. All right. I do like me some Halloween stuff. I believe this is made by Kurtz. This one usually goes for around 20 to 30. I believe I have a box for this. And I might have two more uh, different little houses of this Halloween theme. So I'm going to have that also available I think I'm gonna start those at $10, starting at a dollar or two. I don't think that's gonna work for everything. And just like any business, you gotta make sure you make sense in the dollars. It looks like a little water rippling in here. This is nice and pretty cranberry red glass. This is not flashed colored. This is a red glass piece. Very nice, very old school. There is a little opening for this. You could use a little maybe tea light if it sits on top and have it glow from the inside out. That'd be pretty cool. Let's add that for what, not manana. Let's go ahead and add this one as well. San Francisco 49ers. I love this mug. This is brand new right here. Little 3D mug. Nice weight on there. I sell quite a bit of mugs. I am going to be listing this Murano Tulip Twisted Long Stem Vase up on eBay. This is going to be starting at $64.99. And that's a pretty good going price for what these sell for. There's a variety of different colors of these. I ended up getting this along with Mikey Bags of Money and Carrie when we're uh, booth hopping, searching for one for ourselves to start. It's been a difficult time trying to find one, still not giving up. That piece that I just showed you, I am going to have on eBay. But if you're interested in the link to that, please let me know. And you can send me an offer as long as it's reasonable. I'm more than willing to work with people. But if I didn't have this pressure of needing a new AC unit, uh, I, I would probably give it away for pennies to a dollar uh, just to get a little profit. I do love me some lamps, folks. And if you're in Las Vegas and you're interested in any of these, I'll be more than happy to deliver. If we could work out a pretty good price, that one's probably like one of the top three that I like of the lamps. Maybe my number one, but man. But moving on to a smaller thing right here, these are ones you should look out for. Don't think just because it's small, it's not worth very much. I have sold things the size of a dime for over $100. People overlook stuff like this, and I'm glad I didn't. I saw it. I liked it. It had nice quality. had a nice quality feel and details to it. Come to find out, this sucker goes for around $60. I need to list this up on eBay like today here in a moment. All right, got this, got some DVDs and Blu-rays, some PC games up in here, and then some of the things that I need away that I just showed y'all earlier that I'm going to get on eBay and on whatnot. 
I try to always be positive, folks, but there are a lot of times where I'm like, man, why? Why do? Why does the AC got to give out? It's rigged. The world is rigged, <laughs> but it's not. The world is not rigged. It's our mentalities. Yesterday, I made $300, folks, in sales after fees, after shipping and all that other stuff. I'm still waiting, I believe, on $100 for the reimbursement and whatnot. That's going to help put towards an AC unit. And then the other sales that I've had, had an eBay sale come in and a couple of offers, see if they accept them. But you got to make the most of it. You got to keep trying and trying and trying. Even when it feels like some, even it always feels like when things are going good, something comes around and bam, humbles you or tests you. And every day, regardless, is a blessing to be thankful for. An opportunity to just take on, dead on, face to face, plain chicken with who's going to give up first. Either this makeup stuff that we have in our minds or are we just going to plow through that obstacle and kick butt.